So yeah, considering that we already finished Toy Story and we still have a little bit of time before we call it a day, we are going to continue with this game. Another one of my childhood games that I used to play so much. This one I used to play with my brother because it was multiplayer. Hopefully you guys know it. Rampage through time. Do, 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 do. They have uh, several other games uh, throughout the series. No, no, no. Hold on. Back. Hold on real quick. Because I can't remember what it was. Player one, player two, player three. Okay, yeah, so it was a three-player game. There are other s games in the series, like there's a lot of Rampage games. Probably for the newer generations, the only closest thing you guys would probably remember would be the last movie, uh, or the latest movie that came out with The Rock, where his monkey gets like mutated to ginormous size and he fights a giant lizard. And a giant wolf, I think it was. I saw bits and pieces of it. I honestly didn't watch it. It completely fell off from what it originally was. Um, so to give you a little background information on this game, basically what happened was that humans were like mutated into these giant monsters. Um, rat, a giant rat, a giant hog, a giant lizard, a giant ape. Uh, there's a giant alien. I think that one's a real alien. Just muted, mutated to giant proportions. Um, what else? What else? We're going to go through adventure mode. Because, of course. I can't remember what else there was. But during the series, they the, the most common ones were... Ralph the wolf, Lizzie the lizard, and... Ah, I forget what the ape is called. But in this one, of course, you can see Ralph the wolf. Uh, Mucus the alien, Harley the hog, uh, Curtis the rat, Forrest the rhino, Ruby the crab, George the monkey, yeah I know, <laughs> Lizzie the lizard, and so yeah. Usually I love to play with Lizzie, but I really want to play Ruby this time. I mean Boris is eh, he's okay, but he I don't know, there's nothing really special about it calls my attention. Curtis, well, he's a rat. <laughs> Harley the hog, nah, it doesn't really call my attention. Mucus looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Ralph was also one of my favorites. Uh, but George, eh, again, he's a giant monkey, Kong. What else can you expect? But I really wanna play Ruby the Crab. <laughs> And the premise of this one, or this uh, this game, is that they are traveling through time. I don't know, I don't remember how they got a hold of a time machine. And they're just causing destruction everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Spit it out, man. Don't eat it. That's so gross. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good headlines tonight. Scum Labs stunned the world today with news that they've invented a time machine. Oh, it gives what the explanation there. Science yeah. fiction is now a real science fact. Oh. <laughs> Let's go now to the facility where Dr. Yuri Null is standing by to present... <laughs> I just got Null. it. Yuri Null? <laughs> Yuri Null? <laughs> As everyone knows, it's a simple process to create You're a temporal seizure no. by colliding flying hadrons at energy succeeding 100 tera electron volts. 
but it took my genius to use passive und active feedback to resolve the multi-band framework in the <laughs> And once the synchro beta runs in the main room cloud has been realized, any idiot who specializes in group affairs on cosine theta physics for the complex Pod time champ. <laughs> Thank you for the resubscription of Prime, Algami. Uh, thank you, Doctor. That is. It's very much appreciated. Fascinating. Uh, uh. <laughs> Crisis at Scum Labs. Gotta love this reporting. His face was just like, are you, are you going to remove the letters? Stop the sound? <laughs> what a coincidence that you're like, when is this going to be over? And that's when it ends. <laughs> it's like, I'm done. <clears throat> In breaking news, released just moments ago, it appears as though a situation has developed at Scum Labs. Let's rejoin the doctor to see if he can help shed some light on this new development. On this new development. Eh, uh, let me first say that there's absolutely no cause for concern. And furthermore, reports of any mishaps here at the lab are surely exaggerated. There was a minor incident earlier in Falcon's Bottom of a huge mutant monster, but we were quick to remedy the situation. <laughs> That'd be my face, too. Uh, what? With that note of reassurance, I think we'll all rest easier. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're in, Null. <clears throat> well, oh. that's a relief. For if the monsters were to enter the time portal, who knows at which moment in history their devastation would fall. And he did. <laughs> so yeah, basically... What happened was that this lab created the uh, the portal uh, or the time portal, whatever you want to call it. And what happened was that the monsters were like, oh, let's break through. And they went through the portal. And now what we are going to be doing is playing through different eras of time as these monsters. In this case, uh, for example, we're going to start off with medieval, medieval era. We're going to go through all these that you can see here. Uh, Persia, uh, alien civilization, China, gangsters, Neo-Japan, Old West, Renaissance. I don't know what Dickens is. Eskimo, pirates, Egypt, medieval, Atlantis, Greece, colonial times, war zone, Mayan, Neo-Techno, Jurassic, and back to the scum labs. And I don't know if the other monsters that are going to be accompanying me, the other two players, well, computer players in this case, since I'm doing this solo, um, are, I don't know if they switch around, but for example, since I'm playing Ruby, the other ones that are going to be accompanying me in this level are Curtis and Boris. Curtis the Rat and Boris the Rhino. So, yeah. Avalon, 1013 AD. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what... Okay. Ah, uh, okay. They're beating me up.
I used to play this so much on arcades. Man, I am getting beat up on. <laughs> we are dying. Let me get up on it. No, don't fall. <laughs> so bad at it. I'm dead. Okay, so when you die, I, I guess you have uh, lives or something. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you could also pick up humans. Oh, he kicked me in the nuts. <laughs> Kicking me in the nuts. Bye, dragon. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay. Get out of here. items to heal yourself or stuff like that and I think your point system is dependent on how much you destroy ah, I got no stars for that okay so it's based the point system is basing you off how many people you eat how many buildings you destroyed and I don't know what the last one is how many times you've defeated the other guys so yeah, if you don't get enough stars, you have to repeat the level. <laughs> but it's fine. We were learning. Ah, give me the wench. No, I wanted the wench. Oh, okay. So you do get a superpower. So this game still holds up. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> oh, come on. stars now at least one no oh I got all three okay so we're winning now <laughs> we were able to recover during that level I know it gets really difficult towards the end um, come to me wench Oh, and they also have preferred food. So you, for example, you'll get more points for certain things. <laughs> that sometimes happens. 
Oh, these guys. Kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying myself way too much. I am the victor. Oh, that was my building. I only got one star this time. Oh, I was so close from getting two. I think two is power ups, but I could be wrong. Castle Crusher. Okay, this is a mini game. Move shield right, up, left, down, catch and release the cannonball with X. Protect your castle with your shield. Okay, I think it was the mini games that were the difficult ones. I got one. Oh, there's two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he's down for the count. This dude got a bunch of hits on me. Just you and me, rat. <gasps> oh no. Ah, we got him. <laughs> Our flank was exposed, so we could have easily lost that too. Time zone eradicated. Yeah, we're, we're saving. <laughs> Yeah, where did you save? Hold on. Hopefully it saved on a part that wasn't taken over by something else. Okay, so now we're playing Warzone. Okay, so they do change. This time it's with Curtis and Mucus. Mucus the alien. Lions, 1943 AD. Or Leons? <laughs> Oh, dang. Mega food! So you get more points if you eat more stuff. So for example, since my super food is fish, if I get to get eat any of a fish, I'll automatically. I'm 
I'm doing way better on this one. Oh no. Somebody got a superfood. I got two stars, maybe? Oh, three. <laughs> wow, they did really bad. Their faces change also, depending. If you don't get any stars, well, they'll be kind of mad. But if they are like get one star, they'll be like, oh, I'm happy. And if they get all stars, they're like super happy. Oh. Oh, wow, they're regaining it up on me. They're like, nah, this dude, this dude too good. Jeez, this tank is doing work. Get out of here, dude. I got him off. Ouch. I want a grandma. Ah, we've died. got that one, but I'm not sure. Bastion. Totally destroyed. Oh, got them all. Perfect. Paris, 1943 AD. Ah, I want to hit the building. I must eat you. Oh no, that's my super food. Oh, I got him. We encountered it. <laughs> oh boy. I want to destroy Big Ben. Let's see how well I did. I honestly don't know. I don't think I did too bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, he, he beat me by eating people. Like, three guys that I was supposed to eat, he ate them. So I almost got perfect score on that one. Air aces. Uh, 40 points to win. Slow down with square. X to shoot. Turn right, turn left. Shoot down enemy planes and pilots for points. Oh, he hit me. What a lucky dude. A 
again. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, he hit me. Well, I'm at 17 points. Not so bad. What the heck? No, 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 no. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he hit me. No, 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 no. I'm two points away from winning. I don't think they're gonna get the points to beat me, but still. Oh, he just barely. Got him. This is such a great game for parties. <laughs> Get some brewskis down. <laughs> like in the nineties, two thousands, this would have been perfect. So you know, you're with your friends, eating some junk food, um, depending on your age, drinks, and then just yelling at your friends, "Damn you for taking that!" Okay, so this one's going to be with George and Curtis. I think we're just going to beat this area, and then we're going to call it a night, guys. I am truly enjoying myself. Yum yum. Ow, oh, dang it. I didn't even get to use my special. <laughs> well, I still got all three of them. That's what matters. Shanghai, 1327 BC. All right, so let's see. Oh, he, ah, uh, how? Right? 
I think they beat me on buildings destroyed. destroy that much to be honest. Taipei 1327. Get out of my way, dude. Off my building. Total destruction. Oh. I could have landed on this. Oh, I want that. <laughs> uh, I was gonna kick him in the nuts. There we go. <laughs> this game is so fun. It's I glad I remembered about it. <laughs> I remember waking up my brother on Saturdays or Sunday mornings and be like, Hey, let's go play, come on. And we would just play this all morning or until afternoon. Or until our parents kicked us out and told us to go do something productive outside. <laughs> I wonder who won that one. Aha, yes. Dang, I was off one off. If we would have just destroyed more buildings in that last one, we would have gotten full stars. Uh, Chinese dragons. I think this was a snake kind of version, right? Eat rockets and bombs to gain length and gold bars for points. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm not that good at snake. Oh, 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 oh. messed myself up. Oh, not doing too bad. Oh, wow. He blocked me off right as I was going to get it. Ha 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 ha. I blocked them both off. No, no, no. messed up on that one. <laughs> well, at least we're still winning in gold. Maybe not in size, but it's not the size that matters. It's the motion of the ocean. 
Wait, so I've been told. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, that's mine. God dang it. This dude. Oh, God. I'm getting really unlucky with these positionings. There we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, now we eradicated that time zone. So, how many do we have to go? I think we've done three so far. But again, I may be doing this solo, but this is so fun to play with three other people. Okay, so we're going to do the Old West next, and we're going to be doing it with Ralph and Boris this time. So, Ralph the Wolf and Boris the Rhino. But... This is actually what we're going to call it, guys. Um, so fun. I'm really, really enjoying this game. It brings back a lot of memories as well. I mean, Toy Story was good and all, but this one's on another level. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we will continue this on Friday stream. And once we finish this, hopefully, hopefully, I'll have the, uh, um, the capture card. And we will do both Oddworld games, um, well, the remastered versions, uh, Soulstorm, I think, was one of them, and New and Tasty. Mm, we'll probably start with New and Tasty, I believe that's the first one, Abe's Odyssey. And then we'll do the Soulstorm one, which is Abe's Exodus. Um, and yeah, we'll probably start integrating a lot more console games um, that I have, because my repertoire is pretty big. I wouldn't even say the biggest, but still pretty big. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes how, and how we proceed, guys. Okay. So for now, let's go ahead and call it um, this. Let's do this real quick and let's take a look at who we can raid. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Who is available? Hmm. Okay, we can go ahead and do Mr. Gabuli. He is playing The Binding of Isaac. Probably, that would probably be the best option right now. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get this raid going. Mr. G. There you are. All right. So, great. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy his content as well. Thank you so much for sticking around, and hopefully you're enjoying this game as much as I am. And I will catch you guys on Friday, 8 p.m. Central Time, as always, for the continuation of this. All right, guys, thanks again. Have a good one. Stay safe out there.